Dr. Albert Schweitzer was one of my mentors, although I never met him, but my mother gave me a couple of his books. One was called Philosophy of Civilization and the other was Out of My Life and Thought. And so I spent some considerable time getting acquainted with who he was, what he stood for, what he did with his life. And uh, he was uh, born in Alsace-Lorraine in, I believe that's in Germany, but it's kind of part French and German, and so he, I guess he spoke both languages, and uh, so he grew up with uh, very outstanding talents, and, and he played the organ, and uh, so he ended up studying and eventually getting doctoral degrees in music, and in philosophy and in theology. And then he, he realized one day he came into, I think it was in Paris, in, to the Missionary Society, and he realized he wanted to go to Africa to serve the people of Africa. And in order to do that, he needed not only to be a minister uh, with a degree in theology, but he also needed to know about medicine and to develop a hospital. At least that's what he chose to do. And so he spent another several years getting a doctorate in, in medicine. And then eventually, in addition to that, he, some people there were saying that uh, Jesus was mentally ill. So he felt that he needed to prove that they were wrong. So he, he studied uh, psychiatry. And uh, then he has a book, The Psychiatric Study of Jesus, in which he proved these three people wrong, you know, that Jesus was not mentally ill. And so then after all that, then he went to Africa and set up his hospital in Lamborghini. And uh, um, there was one of the things that I remember very clearly, and that is in the process of his being there, he was working on his philosophy and doing writing. And uh, on the Agawi River, at one point he was had a canoe or some boat that he was going down the Agawi River, and all of a sudden the, the notion of the reverence, the uh, ethic of reverence for life came to him, and so then he began writing about that, and that's one of the things that we've been very interested in, his, his whole ethic, which is much broader than the usual ethic. It's not just related to humans, it's related to all forms of life, and so he ended up uh, developing that it was given to him in a you know a revelation that and then he developed it from there and so i i uh, you know used that as part of the the work that i was doing and i've included it in the world scriptures and so on so it's a very important part of our work and uh, so he spent his life he would play the organ there and he would have his teachings that uh, people would come for and then he would also and do his hospital work. So it was a very unusual life. And one of the things that very specifically happened in regard to that is that his daughter came and spoke at one of our festivals. And uh, so... And we had a bronze statue of uh, Right. Yeah, there was a statue that we got, and so that uh, that was a wonderful event that we held. I think it was held at the... Uh, hotel, now if I can remember the name of the hotel on Wilshire Boulevard that's now been torn down, I think it's been going to become a school. That's where uh, Robert Kennedy was shot, uh, Ambassador Hotel. And uh, so anyway, I think she was there when we were there and it was a wonderful festival that we held. And so that was kind of a linkage back to the teachings of Albert Schweitzer, which we so much appreciate. Mm -hmm.